So today we are looking at the Peppermint OS uh, latest ISO file. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot uh, because I'm running it on a virtual uh, virtual machine, which is uh, VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM, and my CPU is i5 12 Gen 1240p. So here is the desktop layout of the Peppermint OS. It took like a maximum of uh, 15 seconds on my PC, 15-20 uh, seconds. So I downloaded it from the SourceForge website. The Peppermint OS uh, ISO file was uh, released a few hours ago. So I don't know what's the uh, changes or the release notes. Uh, I need to check it out on my own. So let's uh, first change the display settings. Uh, let's go to the menu and find the display settings here and change the display settings so here is my resolution which is a 1920 into 1080 so there are plenty of uh, available options here up to like a 4k near to 4k here is the 4k and uh, i think this is 4.5 something like that so these are all the uh, resolutions available and the desktop environment as you can see uh, xfc so let me show you the version so this is the uh, welcome app or uh, here are some of the uh, options you can go to all these links for the packages hub and uh, all these things you can see here so let me close it first and uh, let me open the uh, task manager so we can see how much of uh, resources it consumes in the beginning of the video so i'm going to put the uh, task manager at the right side uh, corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes uh, throughout the video so these are all the uh, tasks running right now and the RAM is almost like a 911 MB which is almost a 920 so I'm using a 4 GB of RAM uh, which I already mentioned in the beginning of the video and the process running right now are 255 so let's check the version of the uh, task manager which is 1.5.5 I'm going to go through uh, uh, all the things which is uh, usually uh, used in day-to-day -day life. So if I miss anything, do let me know in the comment section so we can uh, make another video if you want or else we can just uh, uh, put it in the comment section so others can see all these things. So the XFC version is uh, 4.18 and GTK version is 3.24.38 and the kernel version you get is 6.1.0-15 uh, which is AMD64 so this is my CPU RAM all the things are here and the device is a uh, peppermint OS live so this is a live boot uh, I will always run in the live boot first because uh, if something happens uh, we should we can uh, easily uh, remove the uh, virtual disk and do that uh, if you do that directly installation on the hard disk it will be a problem always go with the live boot first then go with the installation so let's close this thing so let's open the uh, internet browser I don't think we have any browsers here let's go to all applications so these are all the applications available uh, in the uh, desk, uh, in the ISO file or the peppermint OS so as you can see here so let's open the terminal and let's check out uh, some of the information here let's type in INXI So this is the CPU, this is the kernel already mentioned, uptime is 4 minutes, RAM, shell bash and the INXI version. This is my storage which I already mentioned and process running 259. So let's type in INXI-B. So here is some of the other information, uh, distro is a peppermint OS bookworm. And I'm running it on a VMware as you can see it will say as a VMware on the machine. So here is the CPU information. VMWGFX version is here 2.20.0.0. So XORG version is a 1.21.1.7. So the ISO file was released uh, in the SourceForge website. You can directly just uh, go to sourceforge.net and uh, search in the uh, search bar of the source forge just type in peppermint os and you should be getting the iso file here there the latest version iso file will be available there so let's get back to the terminal so this is my resolution and display is x11 open gl version is 4.3 
Mesa is uh, 22.3.6. So these are some of the other information which is already present on the above section here. So let's type in INXI dash capital G. Hit enter. So here is some of the information. So let's type in cat colon slash ATC and issue like this. Hit enter. See it says as a peppermint OS new Linux. So let's try uh, NeoFetch if it's uh, pre-installed. Here is the NeoFetch information. So let's type in another command which is uh, INXI dash uh, capital F. So here are some of the information you can just pause the video and read everything because I don't want to go through all these things because it's going to make a lengthy video. So let's type in another command which is INXI dash SV8. So here is the pulse audio version. Uh, check out all the audio, graphics, CPU, all those things. I'm going to type in another command which will give all the information of the distro. So you can just pause the video and uh, read everything. So let's type in INXI dash sv8 so you will get all the information in the distro here as you can see so here are all the information about the system machine and the memory all the information are available here vulnerabilities graphics display audio network bluetooth all the things will be available here partitions so just pause the video and uh, read everything if you want so let's type in hstop so hstop is not found so let's close this thing let's check out some of the desktop features in the taskbar here is the uh, date and calendar uh, volume let's check the audio mixer you can customize uh, according to your wish playback recording output device input device configuration all the options are here so the microphone line in analog input video all except monitors let's close this thing notification settings you can change the notification settings you can just uh, put it to do not disturb so here are some of the options you can go through all these things if you want forget application you can customize this all these things uh, on your own if you want or else you can just put it uh, as default so we got some updates here so let's open the so it will check updates here so instead of waiting let's check other features so here is the settings of the power manager you can change this, all these things according to your wish so system display security and devices so here is the network options you can customize if you want you can add the vpn if you want here so let's check the uh, panel information here a uh, 4.18.2 and properties you can change if you want all these things which is uh, already available in the older version of the xfce and the present version so these are all the same things there is nothing changed here so let's go to the uh, desktop settings and check out some of the wallpapers and menu icons all those things so i think we get a single wallpaper in the peppermint os and we have like a colors you can choose anything you want so on the menus again same which is usually seen in uh, xfc desktop environment so these are all the information uh, other information if you want you can uh, Put the icons on the desktop if you want like a home file system removable disk all the things you can customize all these things on your own so that that was not the uh, new thing so i'm just going to skip that part so here is the snaptic package manager so let's open some of the applications and see whether the uh, distro will handle all these applications at once i'm going to run like a bunch of apps like a 15 20 apps so we can see whether it's uh, stable or uh, whether it will get crash or thing like uh, freeze or something like that 
So keep an eye on the CPU and RAM. As you can see, it's almost 70% uh, of the CPU and the RAM is almost 1.3 GB. I think the uh, person who has the 2 GB of RAM will handle uh, the Peppermint OS. Uh, the PC will handle uh, the Peppermint OS, I guess. Uh, this XFC desktop environment because the usually 2 GB of RAM PC will be having like a 1.8 GB of RAM uh, to use. So I think it will be a pretty good to run on low end pc i guess so i don't know properly because uh, i don't have any low end pc right now so if you have if you want to try it you can try it on your own always try it on the live boot first then go with the installation don't directly install this because you need to uh, wait for the stabilizer file whether it's uh, stable or not you should uh, always check it out so these are all the packages uh, which are pre-installed so the highlighted one will be green one and the installed version will be here the latest available version will be on the right side corner and here is some of the description you already know all these things so i'm not going to say anything so snaptic package manager is uh, 0.91.3 so you can scroll it all the things so if you can't see this just pause the video or you can just uh, slow down the video in the youtube settings uh, in the youtube playback settings i uh, just change it to like a 0.25 uh, the default one will be 1.0 so you can just change it to 0.25 and you can see all these things so let's close this thing so instead of closing let's open like all these apps let's see how how much of ram it consumes when we open like a 10 15 apps so we can see uh, how will it handle on the daily basis uh, when we run all the applications on daily basis so let's open like a random apps like a mouse pad on the accessories let's open plank so what else we have here on the graphics let's open document scanner you don't get much of the bluetooth apps or some pre-installed apps here you just get a few apps so that's pretty good departed and uh, let's open the Snaptech package manager once again. I'm going. I want to sh uh, show you that uh, how much of the resources it consumes. So let me open some of the other random apps. So what else we have here? Let's open the appearance. So we have like a plank on the uh, bottom side, like a macOS. Not exactly like a macOS, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if you the lover of like a, a mac os style you can customize if you want you already know how to customize all these things in the linux so what else we have here on the settings let's open window manager tweaks under multimedia tweaks there is nothing in the multimedia we just have a pulse audio volume control on the internet you don't have anything also here so you don't get any of the uh, important apps or the uh, usual apps like a web browser or and the gimp all these things vlc media player you don't get anything you just get a simple apps so as you can see these are all the applications which are available in the peppermint os latest version let's open session and startup what else we have here let's open the welcome to peppermint app system package installer so everything is opening instantly so i, ha I have like a 4 gb of ram and i'm running it on a, like a virtualization it's running uh, pretty good so we have like a notifications I think that's good so CPU is pretty much uh, under 50% and the RAM is also uh, 1.4 GB so it's still good in my point of view I don't know about you so if you like you can uh, do it in the comment section package installer version is here so this is a welcome app you can directly go to their official website or the community page all the community options are here you can go through all the things build log pep docs peppermint hub 
suggested let's close this thing also session and startup you can add uh, some of the things if you want here current session advanced let's close this thing window manager tweaks you can customize if you want here like a workspace placement compositor so here is the appearance here are some of the uh, themes Mervita Manjaro Debian Dark Peppermint So this is like a dark themes and this is the light themes that's it so there is uh, nothing change I like the pink version so this was good so I'm going to keep this thing so here are all the icons if you want you can customize icons fonts and settings so this is usually the same uh, as the xfc desktop environment so you should you should be seeing every uh, xfc desktop environment options here so there is nothing changed here so let's close it so there is no release notes also these are uh, all the version you get in this iso file so let's close this thing also document saver I'm showing the version because some of the viewers want to see the uh, latest version available for the ISO file so that's the reason I'm showing you the all the versions of the applications so you can uh, rename all the files at once you already know how to do that so let me show you the version and close this thing so here are all the options to customize only name extensions only name and extensions you can add the folder or files directly from here you can even remove the file or folder from here at position from the front left back all the things insert time date assessed accessed date modified date picture taken all the options here so this is a file manager which is a tuner let's check the version of the tuner file manager which is 4.8.4 18.4 sorry so this is the file system you can go through all the uh, folders if you want here is a boot sys kernel hypervisor firmware you can go through all these folders if you want you can't go through root so lib64 home it's a pep live so these are all same the options let's check the options in the file manager you can go to preference you can set all the uh, customization in the file manager like a side pane behavior advanced shortcuts like a keyboard all the things you can add the options here close you can add the shortcuts of the keyboard there so this is the file system you can go through all these things and uh, you can do anything there so let's close this thing so let's go to the installation section i'm not going to install because i don't want to so i need to make other videos so that's the reason i'm not going to install it so you get the same installation in the uh, all the linux distro same as usual you don't get any complicated options here you just get a simple options the version of the calamitous installer is a 3.2.61 you need to choose your language so you already know how to install these things so i'm just going to go through all the things in a speed way or i'm going to go through all the in fast like a uh, select your language click on next choose your lo location here is a drop down menu or you can just uh, choose the pointer on the map here are some of the customization if you want or you can just put it in the default click on next choose your keyboard mine is Dell I'm going to choose the Dell here are the uh, languages available for the keyboard model I'm going to put it uh, default English and the default one you get all the other options in the English United States also here and I'm going to choose the default one clicking on next so if you want to erase the disk and install it on your hard disk or a virtual disk you can go through erase disk option 
and uh, here are some of the options like a ext4 xfc all the effect xfcs and uh, no swap all the options you already know how to install all these things and the manual partitioning like a dual partitioning options and if you want encryption you can add it you need to provide the password which should be same in the bo both the boxes so here is the bootloader location and click on next you need to provide your username password all these things and you'll get a summary so let's go to type in all the username and password here let me type in the computer name or a login you need to type in the password the password should be same as you can see and log in automatically without asking for the password if you want you can check this or uncheck this it's clearly up to you click on next so here is the summary of whatever you choose in the partition uh, installation in the previous steps so you should see all the options you choose here like a keyboard uh, language and uh, options of installation all the things the time zone all the things so after clicking on install it's going to take like a 5 to 10 minutes depends on your pc and depends on the iso file whether it's a stable iso file or the uh, beta version all those things so it should take like a 5 to 10 minutes maximum or maybe more uh, depends on your pc so uh, this was the installation i think we pretty much covered everything i guess so there is nothing to show here so if i forgot anything do let me know in the comment section so we can do that in the next video so same again the print settings so there is nothing left here here is the application finder you can find the applications just type in here like a settings options preference you can directly launch it from here after choosing the application so what else we have here accessibility you already know all those things so no need to show all the things because it's going to make the video uh, lengthy so pretty much covered everything screenshot usually uh, you get all the screenshot options or the same uh, in the every xfc desktop environment so no need to show that so let's go to the logout screen here, are, here is the logout screen accessibility date and time So let me shut it down here. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.